Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have a really simple question for you. Which black dial Tudor Pelagos are you wearing or would you take home with you? On my left, I have the newer or the newest of the collection. This is the Tudor Pelagos FXD. In the middle here is the 42 millimeter, I guess I'll call that the original Pelagos model. And uh, on my right here is the 39 millimeter Pelagos. So got a couple things out of the way real quick. If you need more than 200 meters of water resistance, this is going to be your only option. Uh, the 42 millimeter here, 500 meters of water resistance. Kind of a little bit thicker case profile than the other two uh, due to that water resistance, the helium escape valve here on the side. Uh, but nonetheless, a fantastic watch and uh, just a little bit more depth with that inner chapter ring on the 42 millimeter model compared to the others that are a little bit flatter um, on that dial. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when you're looking um, at an angle there. The uh, hour markers are a little bit recessed into that chapter ring. Um, a little bit of red text here on, on the FXD, uh, which I think is a plus. However, if you are looking for, well, I should say this too, if you are looking for a model on a titanium bracelet or a bracelet at all and a date, again, the 42 millimeter option is going to be uh, the best one for you. However, if you do not need a date, you have two options here. You have the Pelagos 39 on my right and the FXD here. Again, a little bit more similar, both with the red text, no date. Um, again, size-wise here, just a little smaller. However, if you don't need the bracelet, the titanium bracelet, and, and you don't need the date, this FXD is going to be your, um, I guess, uh, cheapest price point on the Pelagos. $41.50 um, on this, and you do get an extra uh, rubber NATO strap here. I'm not going to actually put it on. I've put it on other videos, but you do have the, uh, the additional strap. You get an extra strap with all of these, so... I don't know. I'm a huge fan of the Pelagos line. I think there is something for everyone. Um, again, the 4150 on this model. On the 42, the most expensive is going to be 5025 but you do get the additional rubber strap with it. And then the 39 uh, at 4700 again, with an additional rubber strap. So all great options. I thought I'd just put them side by side, show you how each one wears on my wrist. Let's start with the FXD on this NATO. Again, if you're not familiar with the channel, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. And bear with me, this NATO is not cooperating as I try to wrap it around here. I do like the straps. I think the straps make these really comfortable. I do like this green strap on this model specifically. If you're a fan of the channel, you know I tend to prefer smaller watches. However, on the strap, I really like this FXD or the uh, Marine National FXD in blue as well. So um, I actually would wear this, no, uh, no questions asked. Uh, I think it comes down to whether or not you really want or need the titanium bracelet. So let's throw the 39 on next. And last, but certainly not least, we will use or put on the uh, the larger 42. I would wear either of the other two, the FXD or the 39, no problem whatsoever. This gets a little chunky for me, a little large personally for my wrist. But again, if you like a larger watch or have a need for a uh, greater um, water resistance, this is probably your best option of the three. Uh, but again, for me... Uh, either one of the other two. I, I really do like the way the FXDs wear. And uh, while I have them out, I'll give you bezel action on all three. Really good crisp, good sound. Hit the lights, give you loom on all three as well. So 
So again, FXD on my left, the 42 in the middle, and the 39 on my far right. So great loom on all three of these. Uh, really uh, look fantastic. There's not a loser in this bunch. Really, you can make a case for any of these. It really comes down to, I think, what your needs are. Uh, do you need the bracelet? Do you need a date? And how much depth rating do you need? Other than that, I, I think you really could just uh, pick any of these and be very happy with it. So thanks for viewing. Let me know which Black Dial Tudor Pelagos option you are taking. And if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, shoot me an email, brad at brentlmiller.com. We'll see you in the next video.